Today we are doing some much needed plant maintenance. That includes some repotting, millibug treatment. Something I've been trying to do more regularly is go around to all of my plants and clean their leaves just as a pest management slash growth, you know, because you clean the leaves and then the plant is able to photosynthesize a little bit better, right? Oh. I need a mimosa. It's Sunday. It's Mother's Day. Won't be Mother's Day when you're watching this video. Cheers. All right, so first I'm actually going to add some cocoa fiber to my mix. This is a little bit more water retentive and I've noticed that my plants are just drying a little out a little bit faster than I would like. So I'm gonna add something that will hold on to the moisture a little bit better, especially because I'm going on vacation here shortly. So I'm gonna take this brick and I'm gonna add some water. Let that sit for a minute and absorb all the water. The sky is dry, dry, dry. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in it, so where I can find myself Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to a few plants that I converted from LECA to soil kind of struggled, and that would actually be my pothos. So any type of pothos or skindapsis, like this one here, or the pothos that is trailing up, these ones have given me the most difficulty. Maybe they just loved it so much that going back to soil just didn't make them happy. My Monstera Deliciosa was the biggest plant that I converted from LECA back to soil. Upon transferring them back to soil, they all struggled. They all showed signs of root rot or being overwatered and I just didn't water them for a while. And they're all now making a comeback. <laughs> A monster? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> is that, is a monster Poppy? Poppy right. monster! Poppy monster! All right, friends, it's day two. Had to go celebrate Mother's Day. Yeah, I may have had a few too many mimosas last night. Anywho, we're gonna continue and I've got coffee now instead. Yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna start repotting. I put all of my plants here on the table that need to be repotted and as I was watering, I found some millibugs on a few. So we're gonna go ahead and treat these plants and I'm going to, hopefully if I have more time, uh, do some other things. <laughs> but my uh, daughter is with her grandma for only a short period of time, so we ain't got all day today. So this actually is a neem oil. It's just water at the moment. I'm going to make a little mixture. So I'm gonna add some castile soap. It's also got peppermint in it, so I feel like that'll help because apparently pests don't like peppermint. I'm just going to do a little squirty squirt. And then I also have some alcohol here. Just gonna put a little bit in it as well. So what I'm gonna do is after I repot the plants that need to be repotted, I'm going to spray this on them all over the leaves and then I'll wipe it off. It's not like you spray it on and it's gonna protect your plant for an extended period of time. It does not work like that. It kills them on contact. So after you spray the plant, you can wipe or dry the leaf, 
which is what I like to do. Just take a towel or whatever I can find. I need some of those gloves. And this is a good thing to be like consistently doing with your plants as a preventative measure two times, three times a week, especially when I start noticing oily bugs on some of my plants. So I need to treat them ASAP before the problem spreads. I do different soil mixes for all of my house plants. So here I have my Hoya mix, which I'm going to add some cocoa coir. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix it in. Usually I'll add in some worm castings to my mix, but I actually am trying something else this time. It's basically like ground up insects, I believe, like dead bugs ground up. Apparently, when you use this and may like your plant may kind of go into this mode of trying to protect itself because it senses the insects it has these defense mechanisms that it kind of triggers it triggers in the plant to then defend itself from pests and such so including it provides nutrients but also may help your plant ward off pests I'm using this to stir it in. Honestly, I don't feel very good. <laughs> you guys, I'm hungover. I'm gonna listen to something and I'm just gonna repot these plants. That's what we're gonna do. Outside my window is everything pale and cold? Can't seem to pick up my phone. It's been ringing all day long. Behind these clothes, I know the sun will be. But today's raining, so be patient with me. I'll be right somehow. I must be somewhere the sky. So we're on day three of plant chores. It's not been three consecutive days, so there's some plants that need to be watered. Again, I am honestly most worried about plants that I have mounted on sphagnum and wood because they dry out so quickly. Luckily, it's pretty humid in Florida, but if 
you have a humidifier or you can put it in a box like a, a plastic Tupperware that has a lid that'll also help keep the humidity high. I've got my friend coming to help me take care of the dog and cat and my plants, of course, while we're gone. I'm also gonna fertilize my plants that I have in LECA with my general hydroponics. You can use it on soil too, but I try to keep it mainly for plants that are being grown hydroponically or semi-hydroponically. My kokodamas I just placed in a bowl of water for roughly about five minutes. And I'll do the same with my air plants as well. Just place them in a bowl of water. No, yeah, that one's too big. Take that out and fill it with water. And I'll let that sit for, well, until I'm done with my plant tours, really. I also went around to all of the moss poles and made sure that they were nice and hydrated. Oh yeah, check out them roots. Sometimes when I water my plants and the water just comes out really fast out the bottom, I'll, you know, dig my finger in and notice that the soil beneath is still dry. I'll keep watering until I dig my finger and the soil beneath is saturated as well. Especially when you're going on vacation, you don't want to think you watered your plants, but in reality, you didn't really Something, please. A little alien spaceship pot I made. I think it's cute. You know, if you struggle with your string of anything, keeping them in higher humidity actually really helps. Ever since I did that, they just really took off. Now that we've repotted all of the plants that needed to be repotted and we've watered all the plants that needed to be that need to be watered, I'm going to go around and clean our leaves with that solution we made earlier. And I'm also grouping all of my plants here. Now I'm using this fish tank I found while thrifting to put my plants in. This will just help increase the humidity and also just putting the plants together in general will help increase the humidity. A few other things I'm doing to make sure my plants aren't all gonna die while I'm gone is I'm moving them, especially the ones that are closest to the window, away from the window so that they're not getting as much light. This will just help them not dry out as fast. And I'm turning down the brightness on all of my grow lights as well, because right now I have them all at the highest setting. I also ended up buying some of those gloves I mentioned earlier, and I highly recommend them because it makes this so much easier. I'll put a link down in the description if you'd like to check that out, as well as other things that I used throughout the video. This little thing I put a few peperomia leaves in and honestly completely forgot about and I opened it up and I got a lot of new growth in there. How cute. Haven't even had to do anything with that guy. Sit in and forget it. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button because I come out with new videos every week. Go follow me on Instagram at Festive Bohemian. That's where I will be having my giveaway, which is going to be coming shortly because I'm only a few subscribers away from that 1K. Okay, and I'll see you there. Bye.